So in today's video, I'm checking out a Kiesel. Now this is a Kiesel bass guitar and something that I dreamed up, I went on their website and I did their interactive builder and built this. One of the things that's really nice is I have a Kiesel Delos guitar and when I travel and I go anywhere, that's the guitar I take with me because it just, it takes so much abuse and it doesn't go out of tune. And so I was thinking about going, I'd really like to have a bass like that. And uh, so this bass is essentially like my ultimate playing out bass, at least I hope. And I went a little crazy with this. So I, I have no idea how it turned out. You're gonna see my first honest reactions to this and I'm, I'm nervous. Uh, this is the most nervous I have ever been for an instrument because I did it on their builder and although it was very virtual, uh, you know, you just never know. So we have the gig bag and... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes, so it is exactly what you think. It is a crazy, crazy thing. This is a Vader 30 inch scale bass. So a traditional bass would be 34 inches. You guys know I play a medium scale bass most time, which is 32 inches. This is 30. To give you a reference to a guitar, you can see uh, size wise what you're looking at here. So not much bigger than a guitar. I had it chambered, so it's light, even for a bass, even though it has a really solid 5A quilted top. Look at that. I don't know if the camera will pick the colors up. It is pink, but it's a beautiful pink. It's probably because of the quilting, because of the darkness in the quilting. I decided to do the back all white, because <laughs> I thought that would be cool. Uh, especially uh, on stage, it has Lumile dots on the side. Okay, so we have a volume, blend control push pull so you have passive so i can go passive with this or active i have a treble and bass and then i have a mid and mid co mid contour uh, i did the drop shadow logo that was an upgrade so instead of just doing the white kiesel logo right there i did the uh, with the black highlights like drop shadow mahogany neck so mahogany neck and it's neck through and i did that all for weight saving properties i wasn't really doing it for any other reason stainless steel medium jumbo frets mother of pearl inlays and i did dots and i did them on the sides the neck feels exactly like the Vader guitar, so it's a very slim, tapered, uh, I'd say more of a U shape, so it feels pretty good. It's not gonna be paper thin like an Ibanez type neck, but it's definitely thinner than what you would feel on a Fender Jazz Bass, which is a pretty small neck. It, it feels a little more wide right around here um, than the Jazz Bass, but it's super comfortable. It's great, 24 frets. Uh, set up in action, um, it feels pretty good. I'm gonna check right now. The neck has just a little bit of relief in it, and I think I just want to straighten it just a little bit. So let's go ahead and check the frets. Now I'm using my fret rocker from Stu Mac that I've had for probably 15 years or longer. Thing that mentioned here is that it works on short scale, regular scale guitars, short scale basses, regular scale basses. Although I've tried different fret rockers, one of the ones I tried from Amazon recently didn't work for both bass and guitar. It didn't have all the right angles. The bass came with perfectly level frets and they were polished and highly detailed. So let's go ahead and do a sock test to see how the fret ends are. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna say that's a five out of five. Let's do the bass side. Oh, a little bit on the bass side. Not much, right there. A little hard to see. Four and a half out of five. I really feel bad for saying four and a half. It's almost five, but four and a half out of five. Perfectly done that way, executed really well. Width at the nut is 39.21 millimeters or 1.543. And at the 12th fret, we have 2.170 or 55.26. Thickness at the first fret is 20.42 millimeters or 0 0.804. And at the 12th fret, we have 0 0.865 or 21.98 millimeters. So again, very fast, easy playing neck. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the handshake. The handshake is what we call it when you put your hand where the neck meets the body. See how it feels? This feels perfect. That is fantastic. I mean, it's, it's all carved and beautiful. Feels great, lots of access. I love it, perfect. It's an 18 volt system, that's why you see two batteries right here, so you have two nine volt batteries. Something else to mention is that the pickup system is all labeled Kiesel, and uh, I wasn't sure what I thought about that, so, you know, I went with it, let's give it a try. Sounds fantastic, it definitely has the punchiness I like from Bartolini, but that clarity I like from EMG. You can see here, the electronics, one thing I love to point out is that these, they use these brass inserts right here, so you don't have to screw right into wood, perfectly done. We have shielding, and of course there's shielding on the cavity as well, in the cavity cover, and then you can see in here you have all active electronics, there's a lot of controls in there, and it looks really clean and nicely put together, as you can see, very nicely done. Also, can I just say how crazy all the little details are that are right? I mean, look at this, look how they blended that. 
That looks fantastic. I mean, that just looks great. And in some lights, it just looks crazier than others. It looks so good, it looks fake. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a real it's a real quilted maple top, but I mean, it looks so three dimensional and so amazing that I'm so used to seeing that as a veneer, and this is definitely not a veneer. Just absolutely love it. I, I love I love everything about it. It's it was a it was a gamble. I'm really shocked to see how it looked in the builder compared to this. On the builder, this looked a little bit more red and looked a little darker in the you know in the quilting. But so you know, when I built it, I was thinking like that's probably not what it's going to look like. It's going to be lighter. And I thought even maybe we would be even lighter than this. And I think if I went with tiger, it would have been because uh, I think the quilting there's just so much darkness in the quilting because uh, it's so vibrant and such an amazing top. This is all an upgrade. Uh, this was an upgraded top, by the way, as well. So what I want to do now is go over all the different sounds on the bass using the really intense uh, EQ active system. Now this is active passive and I'll be showing you what's the difference. First, let's start with something basic. Now let's go ahead and go passive. Passive, we're gonna go ahead go to the neck pickup. This is gonna give you that P bass sound. Let's go ahead and roll it back to the bridge pickup. And this is gonna give you more of a kind of growl. As you can see, it has received the permanent straps. So what are my final thoughts? Well, the first thing to mention to you is that even though the video looks like I unboxed it, checked it out and showed it to you, really what happened was I unboxed it about three months ago, played it for the last three months, put it through its paces, and then shared all the pieces of that together in one video. So here's the interesting part. Um, I don't regret getting a 30 inch scale over the 34 inch scale. I absolutely love it. Although I do play medium and short scale basses mostly. The other thing is, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've really learned that headless instruments just take a lot of abuse. They are in smaller gig bags. They stay in tune. They don't tend to break strings. I'm not sure why all those things tend to happen. They just seem to be better quality for that purpose. And that's why I like it. Um, this is locked here. So like I said, you do kind of run the strings through, you cut and lock them. Um, there is a ball end on this side, pretty straightforward. Um, it's a pretty cool system. It's very easy to restring this. It's not a very complicated system at all. All right, guys, as always, I want to thank you so much. Uh, I hope this was fun. Uh, this is just a, uh, just literally, I know, just a reaction. I wanted you to see the reaction to, to it. Um, I was a little nervous because, like I said, I didn't know what to think. I picked crazy things. This is the craziest build I've ever done on the channel. 
when it comes to like reaching out of my normal, like, let's just do something blue. Let's just do something sunburst. Hey, let's just do a solid color. <laughs> this, this one was like, let's do pink and white and <laughs> short scale and just see what happens. Uh, and uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely love it. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for your time. Till the next time, know your gear.